that bind us where we said and we played some D with all my wonderful friends sitting around me we're gonna hop right into the action but first we got to talk about what happened last week stuff all right guys we're gonna jump back in no i'm just kidding uh last week was a little bit of role play and some travel and then mostly it was the fight against megara the dawn titan where i once again failed to actually even remotely cause pain to anyone in the party. You downed two of us. No one died. I burned through zero of Tabartos' revivified diamonds. I did ultimately nothing productive. But it was a fun fight. To I save. took no damage. I actually took damage. damage. I took so much damage. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back and look at like... <laughs> The just like how much damage went to just Garagak in that fight. Yeah. Because if you like, if you think about like you you quartered some of that damage, you have to like all of that damage. Like, I want to see what those numbers are. A <laughs> lot. I was actually curious. Garagak did such a good job. I took nothing. I love yeah. you, buddy. It was probably like <laughs> close to seven hundred damage to just you. Yeah. I with, after it. everything's said and done, because you got picked up to a hundred twice i think like yeah. just after you got knocked you got like broop, poof, broop, poof. and then it yep. was just that like one off of like okay i'm done just stand back up for a second <laughs> yep stand back um, up swing die <laughs> yeah that being said after you guys defeated megara you found the entryway to the abyss upon entering you saw vast hills of darkness though not precisely what you expected upon entering the realm of demons it looked like fields of grass though all the blades of grass themselves were black and at the end, you heard a voice, the voice of one gnomish rogue by the name of Gricht. And as you all turned, you realized that he was carrying all of your bags of holding. We will be jumping back to the action now, after my lovely friends have had a whole week of arguing <laughs> with like, telling me of all the good stuff I took from them. And uh, they have decided to attack. I don't necessarily have to attack. To fetch. We'll, we'll put it this way. Ileana, let's, let's just start this with you. One of the things in the bag of holding was the dragon courtship book that Tempard had purchased. So Ileana, in this moment, realizing what has happened, I will say that you see Grick standing about 100 feet away from you on the top of one of these hills holding all your bags. What would you like to do in this instance? Who's the closest person to me? Uh, Party? Probably me. Yeah, most likely. I'll look over at Lysa I'm doing, hold my hand out, and say, I want my book back. And then Dimension Doors so that we're like, we're behind Greg. You know, like, so like, we're, like Greg's in between us and the problem. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you dimension door over there and Greg's looking entirely surprised. 
uh, kind of looks up and goes, oh, hey, whoa, whoa. Let's just take a chill pill. Let's just breathe for a second. If there's you no give need. us back our stuff, there's no problem. Counter proposal. And he disappears. Now, did it look like he turned invisible or did he like look like he um, actually cast Misty Step or Dimension Door? Because we've seen both of those. You have, it, of it definitely looks like an invisibility, right? Like you didn't see anything of like water. shifting. Sphere of Water just on that spot? Yep. Okay. What does a Sphere of Water do? He has to make a save, strength save. I'm not sure if that was a non of I was ready for this, or of course it's a strength save. No, no, yeah. it is. It is a strength save. <laughs> it, was it was the, the second one. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled a natural four. Well, a natural three made a four. Okay. Would never Lottery give the rogue spear. a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh, DC se- 17. It didn't so put it, it in the... Fails. You just did a I'm... water bubble? Uh, yeah, actually, he is restrained in the water bubble. Okay, so there, there is currently a bubble of water in front of you. Ileana and Lysander. Can I just reach in and start trying to grab things? I mean, the, the stuff's still invisible. Uh, yeah, Lysander, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Okay. <laughs> As you reach into the sphere of water and try to, like, feel around. Oh, no. And I'm going to just start walking up there. Yeah. Uh, are the rest of you joining in this pursuit? Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, while readying a spear. Oh, no, you have lightning javelins and this yep. is a sphere of water? Yeah. <laughs> cool. I kind of, uh, yeah. So if anything moves or I see anything in that bubble, yeah, I'm let's throwing just... my javelin. Coda, do what Garagak would do. Like, I would throw the moment. javelin. Yeah. Go to like, roll, <laughs> roll an attack with your javelin of Because lightning. my arms are also in this water, and I embrace going down from these 27 points of damage. Uh, it didn't throw a hit, it just threw damage. Uh, hey. I'd, just roll a d20 plus four. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I don't either. Sometimes things get weird. Oh, it's... Like it's... It's because it's a deck save, isn't it? It's it's a roll two hit with the javelin of lightning and a deck oh. save for everything in the lightning path. Oh, that was okay. absolutely awful. Oh, no. It's because I typed at, it in. At least it I wasn't see. a one. But you threw it in the path of the orb, the sphere big of orb water. water. Yeah. So seventeen lightning damage. Do I also take that because my arms are in the sphere of water? Yes. Yeah. Does it get amplified at all because of the sphere of water? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. So we'll say it does like ty- one and a half times damage, not like full double. But so that'll be uh, 26 points of damage. And this isn't half because it's not a spell. Correct. Lysander is at one hit point. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. I got you. Uh, so this happens. Uh, at this point... I'm going to say we should roll for initiative just to get some order for things because all of you have your tokens out. So go ahead and click on stuff, do your advantage thing and all that. Oh, the dice are hating me today. Do I I get a dandy proc? Not on initiative. You ask me every time. (laughs) Yes. But you do have a guaranteed go first. (laughs) Yeah. You do get to guaranteed go first, which is good. Yeah. My Cedar has one hit point left. Shit, your hands are still in that bubble, too. They are! <laughs> oh, no. I rolled bad. I mean, unless oh. I could pull them out, but I don't know if I have a strength save to not be pulled into the orb of water. No, because it has to. you have to occupy the same space oh, okay. as it does. But um, I would pull my arms out after getting fucking snapped. Yeah. Just, ah! <laughs> it makes sense, because Garagak probably wouldn't have been able to see that you were reaching in from the other side. Yeah, he just saw me through a like, vague orb shape. Water bubble! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but no, uh, Grick, there was no way that could have saved from that because it's restrained inside of the boat. So also took that damage. Well, this is greater invisibility because he's still invisible. 
He hasn't done anything. Wouldn't he be? Wouldn't I? Uh, wouldn't take they take damage? They become invisible. No, no. You have to attack or cast a spell mm. to break invisibility. Although that does bring up a, a point. Uh, no, because it's not. Never mind. Never mind. It's an item, not a. Right. <laughs> um. Okay, so hopping into a turn order here. Garagak, you get to go first. You rolled the highest anyway, so yeah, you get to go first. Yep. Good work. Uh, I'm going to throw another one. It's okay. I can wake Lysander up. Are my arms out? Or if I not it's had it? It hasn't, hasn't had your turn to move. Okay. Uh, so an 11. Uh, <laughs> and uh, an 11 would hit this giant sphere of water that's not moving. So I'll give you that. It's not going to do piercing damage to him. But it will right. do that 11, so 16 damage. Lysander drops next to Ileon. <laughs> uh, you just see Lysander fall through the orb. Maybe. Um, I don't know how opaque it is. Wait, I get two attacks, right? You do. We'll throw another one. Okay. That's two. Okay. Lysander, you will not take, like, failed death saves because you collapse to the ground. Yeah, my arms are no longer in it. Okay, so another 22 damage. The 24 doesn't hit? No, it, it it it's hard to throw like the javelin specific at because he's not rolling with disadvantage. He's just trying to hit the sphere yeah. with the lightning. No. Um, okay. I was just briefly concerned that his AC was higher than that. No, 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 no. Uh, and then uh, I'm, I'm going to run. I don't know how, how far away I am. You guys started at about 100 feet away. You started walking, so we'll say you guys are about 80 feet away. Okay. Today. I'll move another 40 feet closer. Cool. And that'll be a turn. Um, Ileana. I want to walk up and hold out Chuck and Grasp. Can I cast this spell like at its lowest damage possible? I would say yes. Um, you could like hold the damage down. Like you could force yourself to use less magical energy. Yeah, um, cool. So yeah. I want to walk up and kind of have my hand cackling and spell and hold that to use as a reaction, you know, if if this dude doesn't drop invisibility and say, so, you know your situation, just, just stop fighting. We can talk. This is your last chance. And I'm going to hold my action. Are you trying to persuade or are you trying to intimidate? Because the persuade. shocking grass makes it feel like, okay, persuade. that's fine. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check. Yeah, it's just for the no reaction thing. It's like more of a, I don't want him to fight my friends, but I also don't want to fight him. You know. Uh, persuasion. Yeah. I mean, they're both plus zero. Holy shit! Ooh. Nice. Ilya crit, by the way. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Enough. Isn't D&D &D supposed to be fun for the DM, too? With a plus zero. <laughs> you can't it. tell me throughout our entire isn't, year of playing. Isn't it supposed, supposed to be enjoyable? Uh, no, no, it's fine. I, I really do enjoy you guys succeeding on stupid shit like this. Uh, so, <laughs> inside of this floating bubble... Uh, you see Grift appears, like, upside down and kind of just floating, holding his breath. And he has his hands, like, they would be up, but he is upside down. And he just kind of is, like, floating there, slowly kind of spinning with the current of this sphere that's, like, rotating through. Uh, he's, he's visible with his hands raised. Uh, this would end the combat in initiative. Like he, he has surrendered. You guys caught him, fucked him sideways with lightning, and he is very hurt. And somehow I still got knocked unconscious. Correct. Sorry. You're not. <laughs> oh, man. So um, I'm just going to walk up, touch Lysander on the shoulder, and cast Cure Wounds at first level. Mm -hmm. I haven't dropped the sphere yet so that's 8 hit points back for you 
I'm going to look at him and I'm going to use as a separate action uh, shape water to hold his feet where he is and create like I did the pillars with uh, George. I'm just going to create a solid thing of water that comes down to the ground and will hold him there. And then I'll drop the water. So he's, he's just dangling there? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll allow it. Technically, the water would... Yeah, that's I fine. could create water and then No, do it. you're fine. I'm not stressing it. Uh, you... I wasn't <laughs> sure if it would work because so we are he's in just this. hanging upside down. He goes, hey. How's this hanging? Still laying. As I said, please give us stuff back. <laughs> As I walk up in Thieves Kent, I will say to him, come on, man, why are you here stealing stuff from us after we went through the proper channels for this? I even said I'd pay you when I got back. He replies very quickly and goes, I came with you. I've been with you the whole time. I don't I doubt it. I myself into your bag and I've been hanging out ever since. Why? <laughs> Seemed fun. I was waiting for the prime opportunity to steal all of your belongings. Now here I am realizing I should not have announced myself. I should have just left and none of this would have happened. But hey, we all make mistakes. Yeah, mine was letting you be alive right now. Uh, that's a not fair a point. mistake. That's not a this mistake. Is, this is Thieves Can. You wouldn't. This um, is Thieves Can. From that's what correct. you guys are hearing, is them going like, mm, yes, the swallow flies at dawn. Mm, correct. The breaking tide will lead to great bounty. <laughs> so, uh, bit of a pickle here. Uh huh. I don't want to die. Oh, and I don't want you to live anymore. Compromise. <laughs> I will walk up and put a psychic dagger right to his throat as he says it disappear again and I will shove this so far through it. <laughs> I wasn't going to disappear. I was simply going to offer you uh, that I would accompany you through the abyss. That's completely up to them, but I don't mind doing this anyway. No. <laughs> I guess guys... what we do is point at you guys for something. And they're like, oh, yeah. he, wants to, he wants to follow along. I said it's up to you or I can just stab him now. We don't no. need to kill him yet. I, I don't think that would be very... Besides, I don't think he consents to being killed right now. I do not. <laughs> nope. Do oh, he not consent to death. Has that... But he did fully admit to the stowing away in our bag, or my bag, and uh, stealing our stuff, and upset that he revealed himself and wished he would have just ran away with it to not get caught. How did you stay in the bag for multiple days of travel? I Bro. didn't. I just kept poking my head out. I went, <gasps> And we were concerned about the seagulls. And, well, I mean, he isn't visible. Like, I, I can't see invisibility. I wasn't even invisible most of the time. I'm just small and stealthy. I met a spider. He was really nice. Oh, yeah, Reginald's still on the ship. <laughs> we keep forgetting about the Reginald. He now works for the Temp Clan. Why didn't you just ask? To steal our stuff? No, to come along. If he well, I didn't, away I didn't that want to come along. Way. I didn't realize you guys were going to come down here so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I hopped in. I just kind of poked my head out. We were on a boat. I poked my head out again. It was on fire. I poked my head out again, and here we are. I figured this was the best option for me. I've been here before. <laughs> and how... You were relying on us to beat the Titan? No, I didn't know you was going down here. <laughs> I was relying on you to land the ship somewhere that I could run away after I stole all your stuff. We were in Waterdeep for a while. Yeah, I did my fair share of plundering. You could have left. You had so many other opportunities to make this. Th Just give us our stuff back and leave us alone. You see, he kind of looks at you and goes, fair enough. And he starts, like, pulling the bags off. And he sets down. Between all of you had a bag of holding, right? Like, all of you bought one Most when of you us, guys yeah. went shopping. When I you had all two. The money. Why did you have two? 
I had an had a lot of stuff. idea for one that's empty. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So so you see he starts setting <laughs> setting idea. these bags down. <laughs> yeah. And he sets down five and then six. And the last one he goes. Worth a shot. And he tosses one of the bags open and shoves the last one inside of that one. As he opens the bag, I stab my knife through his neck. Ro- roll, so roll the hit. <laughs> but doesn't that just open oh a portal to God. the abyss that we're already standing in? No, no it opens it opens a portal to the Astral Sea, which oh. is like a whole fucking different ball game. <laughs> and that's a place we don't have to go. I missed him. <laughs> you, know, you go to stab and he goes whoop and like turtles Wait. his head down. <laughs> I think we get advantage for him being restrained and me holding it next to his neck the whole time. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only asking because I, I was very specific about what I was doing before. <laughs> this is going to be worse. Watch. This is going to be in that one. Nope. All right. So you stab him for 27 damage. <laughs> and he still and, does it. Yeah. And he shoves the bag in the bag. Uh, <laughs> you guys start hearing this. What are you gonna do? Oh, I thought Bonus it was act. instant. <laughs> Bonus action, I'm, stab him again. I grab my spears, and I grab the bags he tossed, and try to like haul ass. <laughs> so, so as soon as it starts, Garrick actually starts grabbing shit off the ground. Like we gotta go. <laughs> what, okay, so what are the rest of you doing? My thought would be to scoop Ilya and book it, because I can't misty step. Eliana is shaking her head no. How many of these bags can I scoop? Uh, well, Garagak is already scooping. Uh, so between the two of you, you could grab all of the ones that you technically could grab the one that is also making this humming sound. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, that's true. What is... Is Greg still oh. like like still restrained, still hanging there? Yep, Greg is still very much so upside down and in the same spot. Actually, in that I, vein, can I just grab the bags from the him and chuck them? <laughs> like the two that he is. And you just take together? one bag out of the other and stop it. I don't think try. it works that way. I'll try it. Okay, my thought would be to just throw the bag away so the portal opens over there. So you, okay? So Garagak's grabbing a bunch of stuff. Yep. Onyx gonna reach in. Uh, Eliana, are you also yeah. scooping? Yeah, if Gary yeah, doesn't get any bags, I'm gonna scoop, and I'm. If everyone else looks like they're getting away, I'm also going to go and okay. put a hand on Grick. Okay, so you put a hand on Grick. Um, Anuk, you reach into the bag and you feel yourself getting pulled. Um, you you do the normal thing for a bag of holding, and you think like bag of holding, nothing happens. There's just this like massive suction inside of that like extra planar space that is starting to pull you in. How dark do I want to go? That's entirely up to you. Do you want to strand a nook in the astral sea? I'll pull my hand out. I'll take the bag and shove it over his head. Oh. (laughs) That dark. Not so, ghosting. A bag of holdings <laughs> opening is. N- how are you opening it for his whole body? Nope. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Uh, <laughs> I'll even put it on and pull the drawstrings. So, uh, <laughs> this took a turn. <laughs> you, you. All of you are standing here, like, Garagax just like crazy, he's grabbing things and trying to get away. Uh, Lysander is moving away, and Ileon is like, getting ready, I'm assuming, to try to like, dimension door or something, Gricked away. And Anuk like, feels this suction, looks at Gricked, slides <laughs> the bag over his head, pulls the drawstring, you guys hear a and the bag falls to the ground. I'll pick the bag up, uh-huh. and Misty step 30 feet away. You missed these up 30 feet away. This humming is getting louder. And then I start running. 
Okay. With the bag, or do you drop it yeah. and run? No. Anik, roll. Roll in, a, like a history or an arcana. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen. Right, Having but had I'm both the. Right, and that's. And but I'm, I'm trying to figure out if you how much detail you would know okay. about what's going to happen. History or arcana, it wouldn't matter which one I roll. You, I will give you advantage because you have owned all of these items and you have been studying okay. like how they work for storage and stuff. There you go. That's, okay. <laughs> uh, even at the least knowledge, you would know that this is going to be a relatively closed thing that happens. You gather that the 30 feet away or so you were would be enough. You're not sure if that's like right on the edge of that range or if it's... So I can eat not. it and feel safe? You could, yeah, you could, like, that misty step and drop and then run back towards your friends would be more than enough space for them to be safe. All right. That being that. said, if you do want to continue to run with it, I'm not going to make that choice for a nook, but I wanted to make sure all the information was out there. You know what? Actually, I'll just keep going. I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, with the space on nook's been in? He's going to come back a fucking space warlock. Okay. Oh, I have an out. Uh, I don't know what that out is, but I trust it. You guys Anna, have you... to meet me in hell, and you'll have to get yourselves there. Oh, no, you have the pearl! <laughs> but no, Garagak has your bag. Unless it's in your haversack. Because we discussed that, and that looks important oh, yeah, stuff would have been in the haversack. In haversack. So, yeah. okay. Pause for fact fact. Gary, you just wanted to take a break for a little while, or? No. I have an out. Yeah, to go to a different plane that your party doesn't have a way have to get to. Two possible. I have one for sure out and one possible out. Okay. And what's even the... a third possible what is the possible What is the possible out, out that we're discussing? I can have a conversation with that blue-eyed darkness. In the Astral Sea? They're all powerful. They they think the, de okay. the gods are... Okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. We're good. Um, or I could gain a level in the Astral Sea <laughs> and then plane shift back. Yeah, I just I don't want to like pull Anuk away from the entire Abyss arc because I don't know how long it'll take. Normally, I'd say the Abyss will take tonight, maybe next week, we'll be done. But you fucks tend to take everything I plan to be very short and simple and make it months upon months of playtime, I mean, which is fine took, and fun. Yeah, we just but took an hour on Grict. Anuk, you keep running with this bag. Mm -hmm. All of you watch Anuk sprinting in the distance. That humming is getting very loud. Anuk, just drop it. Come back. I feel like Gergak would be trying to run after a nook. Okay. Gergak, roll, an, ath start. roll an athletics check. Okay. Yeah. But I get that with advantage, don't I? You're well, you not raging. Does Gergak move? Oh, yeah, I'm not raging. You're right. 40, 40 feet. Ooh. So he could he could close that gap. That's why I'm curious. No. Whoa, that was so close to critting. So... Anuk, you're running. You know what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. You have it in your mind. This humming gets louder, louder. If I hear Garagak come up behind me, I'll cast Misty Step again. So here's the thing. It is... Yeah. You turn. Misty Step is not a reaction spell. It is a bonus action. Yes. You turn, go to cast the spell. <laughs> the rest of you see Garagak and Anuk get enveloped by this swirling gray, black, and white vortex that is open for an instant and then gone. And the remnant of Grick's body drops to the ground. Correct. True. Why didn't he just drop it and come back? I don't know. What just happened? 
And uh, since Eliana was also grabbing stuff, and for sake of things happening, I just got me and the Nook's bag. <laughs> That's, that's fine so, yeah that way i didn't just take everyone's so, shit so how it narratively how it how it works in my mind is i think when everything started you were thinking everyone was going to move away mm -hmm. you started collecting things and then you watched on nook take off in one direction and garagax not a genius no but, but garagax, garagax also a lot about a nook exactly and it and understands kind of the place where anook's been mm. So I think that it makes sense that Garagak would have the understanding to go and try yeah. to help and see see what he could do to be there for Anuk. So I think in that moment, it would have been drop shit and run. Okay. Anuk and Garagak, we will jump back to you guys here in a little, little bit. The other three of you are standing with a headless Gricht. This winding path through these hills ahead of you leading to that large castle in the distance. I don't know why they did that, but whatever. I'm gonna search the dead body. You find nothing of interest. Typical. He has a stash somewhere. <laughs> I, I don't <sighs> know what to do. Keep going. Let's go back to Departos. We gotta go. Unless you have some sort of way to get to whatever plane they just went to. Or get them back. What is wrong with you, Zykor? What do you mean? Two of our family just disappeared! Willingly. I should have never let you come. And I just pick up the stuff and keep going. Because I, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> yeah, Eliana, are you joining Lysander and continuing forwards? I want to check the bags and look for the book. You, easily enough, I'm sure, I'm, I'm just imagining in my head you guys had taken like different colors of tape or something and marked all of your bags individually to keep them marked. Uh, and you reach it. You reach inside of yours, and you do find the book. I'll make sure to like put it in my robes now, not back in the bag. Okay. Right next to the knife. I'll look at Rick's body. And look at the knife. And I'm not attuned to it right now, but I'm interested to see what happens. And I'll take the cloth off, and I'll stab the body. Just yes. see if anything happens. I believe the wording on the right knife is that you have to kill the creature. Yeah. As much as I hate to tell you this, he died when his head popped off. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. This is what uh, you're going to do. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah, so nothing nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Check the knife. Go over to Lysandro. And tuck the arm as the time you walk away. Yes. I, I think we need to rest. I understand how frustrated you are. But we're going to find them. We have to be careful with what we do. And although I really want to move forward too, I, I think we need to rest right now. Yes, I, I would like to preferably be at least a few hundred feet away from the headless man who stole our things, but you're right, I did. <laughs> I am more than a little worse for wear. So... I understand. I didn't, I didn't want to kill anybody else, and, and now our friends are gone, and I don't know what to do. And this is going to be hard, but we're going to get to it. Yeah, we at least have to get our way out of here, and then we'll Figure it out from there. And I'm looking psycho over. I'm like... I can even come over. Uh, I was walking down back to where we left Apartos. Mm -hmm. And if you were looking over at me, you'd probably see my entire body, like, visibly shaking. Out of... Maybe if you cared to pay attention, or if you wanted to look harder into why, it was definitely out of anger. Okay. 
how does God to like on the photos? We 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 have to stay together. Let's let's move and let's all calm down. We can't act right now. We need to make a plan. The uh, the four of you find a place a few hundred feet up the road, the base of a hill. What are you doing to rest in this place? Yelia, you don't have anything besides the mansion, correct? I, I, yeah, I have the tower again. I, tower, yes. Yeah, I, I can still cast a couple of those. They'll be good for temporary. I, yeah, I don't think we need something that conspicuous. <laughs> Times like this, I miss the, the hut. Garagak left all the bags, correct? Uh, he left all of your guys's, yeah. Okay. Never mind. I was gonna be like, I'll rubbish through his bag if I got left and just like set up some wire and some bells <laughs> around us and just kind of take a short rest. But if we don't have it, I think it's just- I pull it out of my bag. <laughs> Yeah. I have a lot of the same stuff. <laughs> Just kind of set up some sort of post. We're not going to... I don't want to stay here overnight if it can be helped, but just enough of a pause. Keep an eye on each other. Keep your heads on the swivel, but try to do... <sighs> try to rest at all. We don't have Gergax things. Set up some sort of Alarm. I don't know what anyone else has. I am an ill-prepared adventurer. I'll pull out some wire and some bells and stuff. And I mean, I can set it up, but I don't know where you want to sleep. I mean, it's not sleeping. I just want to know if anything gets near us if for some reason we don't see it. So just maybe a few feet away from where we sit and rest. Okay. Yeah. So about 10 feet away from where we're at, I will completely enclose us in, in a circle of string and bells that are about six inches off the ground. That's fine. Um, you guys set up loosely and you begin to take a short rest. Garagak and Anuk. You guys feel like your bodies are being torn apart as you are thrown through this vortex. All around you, you're seeing flashes of all of these other planes, and it's like the fabric of the reality that holds you together has become this like pipeline of travel for you. When you emerge, you find yourselves floating in a vast, empty space. All around you, is gray. You can't tell if there is a ground beneath you, a roof above you, a sky, a ground. It is just empty and gray. The only thing that you two see is the other. Oh, wait, what did you follow me for? I was trying to help. I couldn't let you go alone. Yeah, but I don't know if I can get both of us back. I don't know if I can get me back. I was gonna gamble me. But now I gotta work extra hard to get both of us back. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of didn't really think about going yeah. back. <laughs> me either. I have, I have an idea. Hey. Can we talk? You're just slapping your, your fucking serpent tattoo? Uh-huh. I don't know if it's going to work. Roll... <laughs> Roll a charisma check. I mean, they chose to mark me. Correct. Can I assist in this? Yeah. Like, I wow. see him do it, and I just slap his chest, too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, like, I see him do it, and I'm like, yeah, is this how you do it? And just start hitting him in the chest? Before I roll, I'm going to look at him and say, um, things, things are a little weird right now, right? Yeah. Um, there's something going on. I don't want you to do what I do. Oh, okay. 
there's there's some dark places and uh i'm hoping i can find some light in those dark so just if this works there's gonna be something big and powerful try not to talk to it okay should i close my eyes sure <laughs> okay my charisma is and that role was actually I will use my DM inspiration. Okay. I critically succeed on that. Garagak, <laughs> you close your eyes. And all of a sudden you hear this loud tearing noise. This like vacuum esque suction and this booming voice out of nowhere. You've summoned me? As if you have the right? I don't. I just wasn't sure if you were listening. You you mocked me. We got maybe business and I just, you, you already mocked me so I'm, I'm kind of yours for a while. Kind of glances around why are you here I was trying to save my friends except somebody followed me <laughs> and saving your friends required you to be flung into the astral sea I didn't it just kind of worked out that way it was really fast lots of things I didn't Spec it would turn out this way. Anuk, you and I both know you are far too wise to have not realized it would work out this way. I think that Garagak here is the only thing you didn't see coming. Yeah, I did not. Yeah, I'd just be like, yeah, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I don't think I am either. Anak, speak plainly. Why did you come here? Why did you make that choice? It's another place to challenge myself. If I can well, get back from here, you know, if I could do it by myself, I'd be strong. I got great mana. So in order to train yourself and prove your own strength, you leave your friends alone. They're pretty strong. I think they could handle it. Just minutes ago, you were the thing that kept your friends alive. Eh, they got to, they got to Patos. He can do much better healing magic than I can. Can Tapartos channel nature in the same way you do? Yeah, that didn't do me so good against the Fire Titan. And in that one instance, your friends relied on you to take on a different, but yet equally important role than your usual one. And you rose to that challenge. I may be wise, but I'm not very smart. You are not incorrect. Anuk, there is no training for you here. There is nothing to be learned here. The Astral Sea is an ancient and desolate place full of nothing an expanse larger than any other that we know, but yet contains the least. I'm still trying to figure all this, these new things out. You and me, this is, this is new. I, I'd swore myself to the mother nature. Now, you know, I'm, I'm sworn to you. It's different. I wanted to go someplace different. Well, then I know you have a choice to make.
if your true goal and want is to stay here and somehow find your way back, I can leave you here. I'll send this one, gestures towards Garagak, back to where you left from. Your guy just like reaches out and grabs a nook's pant leg. I don't wear pants. Oh. His sarong. Your your underwear, whatever you have on. <laughs> <laughs> or I can send you both. Because let's be real, Garagak will not last here. And frankly, I don't think you will either. I don't think I've had very much time to think this through. No. No, I don't think you did. And I don't think you used the time you did have to think this through. I suspect we should probably both go back so that next time I come here, I can take care of myself and my friends. If that is what you truly want. But do not get used to this. No. Nope. But you'll be there to talk, right? Or do I just not talk to you anymore? You can talk to me all you want. That does not mean that I will always be able to answer. Sometimes just in the talking, there's, there's understanding. Even if you don't answer. I keep an eye on all of my devoted. I made an investment in you. And I plan on making good on that investment. That being said, I am not a safety blanket for you to rely on. I wasn't really. I, I did have another way out. Granted, we'd have gone to hell, but it was another way out. And what was your plan to get out of hell? At least there, I got ground to stand on. Perchance it is time, Anuk, to start facing what actually troubles you, instead of feigning progress by trying to become stronger. The problem is not your strength. The problem is not with failure. Failure becomes strength. The problem and the true obstacle is learning how to be the forge that creates that strength from failure. I'll work on that. Your friends are there for you. Rely on them. Here, See I just the hold the hands up. <laughs> <laughs> I am here. I think we're ready to go back, if, if you will. Otherwise, you know. <laughs> just like, nah, and just leaves. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been acting like a baby. Maybe I should be treated like one sometime, I guess. Hmm. When you lost your friend, wasn't it their recklessness, their lack of forethought that caused the most distress? Uh, yeah. I see. I didn't see it before, but I see it now. Told you you're wise. The servant vanishes. Hey, uh, buddy, you can take your hands off your eyes now. <laughs> take my hands off, look around. Wait, what was that? <laughs> uh, some big ancient mana. Something I'm working out. I, I expect we're gonna be okay. And I scoop him into a hug. 
like the big old bear hug. I don't wild shape into a bear. No, I yeah. Just pick him up yeah. into it. Yeah. And, and give him the good, good squeeze. Jerry hugs back. Anuk, as you end your embrace with Garagak, you feel something in your hand. A small glass orb. Similar to the one that you were gifted by the planetar. The four of you had set up camp to rest. Your short rest concludes. An hour has gone by. So far, no signs of any demon activity whatsoever. The only living creature you guys have seen outside of your party was Gricked. As your rest is coming to an end. Ring, ding, ding, ding. A bell chimes. Immediately turn head to the sound. And you see standing there, Garagak and Anuk. I would st- stumble to my feet and run over to him, like the pair of them immediately, put hand on either shoulder. Don't either of you do that ever again. Yeah, I didn't like mean to. Like to. <laughs> Liana, you run over and join. We've lost enough. I didn't want to lose you too. Do you guys need to rest to? Yeah, I could really use some rest. Yeah, I expect that'd be a good thing. There's nothing here. It's probably as safe as it can be. I know we don't want to spend long, but. Ah, uh, let's let's get. We'll be better off if we take a rest. I think Garagak needs it. I know I do. Okay. Are we spending hit dice to heal up? I did. I needed it. Uh, I'm now at 110, so I'm okay. Okay. Okay, So you guys are just going to do like one more short rest for Garagak and Anuk and then continue forwards? Seems reasonable to me. What do you two think? Yeah. Should be fun. Um, on the short rest I will use a couple of hit dice and I will use my nature natural recovery you get a spell slot back yep couple up to six yeah I'm going to attune to the maybe spell going to attune to the back to the side okay um I will so, unattune to my fire thing during our short rest and get go to my uh, short sort of warning. So you're unattuning to the fire mm-hmm. and then giving your short sword to Coda. No. So, oh, it sounds like you said, and then get Coda my short sword of warning. Oh, uh, no, yeah. no, and then it, uh, I will attune to the short sword of warning during their rest, I guess. Okay, cool. For however long it takes. No problem. And I'll just kind of survey the area, see if it makes sense of anywhere we're supposed to go. Lysander, go ahead and roll a perception check. A 13. Jesus, dude. Roll 20 against me tonight. You walk up to the top of this hill. You don't see anything. You just see this path that winds through these rolling hills leading towards the castle in the distance. No sight nor hair of anyone? Jeez. Okay. You all finish your short rests. Can I cast a divine sense? Sure. I'm gonna do that. Alrighty. You sense nothing. Oh, that's worse. Where are you looking, yeah. Gag? Um, I'm at 129 out of 141. Pretty close. Okay. I'll save the healing. Yeah, we're very sure. powerful and have a lot of hit dice that we never use. Yeah. <laughs> We've had many rests since we last took a short rest. Alrighty, what is your guys' plan? There's nothing here. We... Except the castle. Except the castle. 
I need to remember what we need in the abyss <laughs> to my memory bank. Um, I know Dash has it written down, but with the next keen mind, what is it we're looking for? Porcelain mask. Porcelain mask. I found it as well. It's porcelain mask. <laughs> so you guys just start heading down this path towards the castle, or are you turning around, fucking off, or? Because there's oh. nothing else besides that, right? Just these like endless rolling hills of black grass. Black grass? Is it dead grass or is it just black? It is black. The feel on like, on your feet and your hands feels like normal blades of grass. Oh, and I dropped that to take other stuff. It seems all we can go is there. Psychor, have you been warned of anything of this place since you seem to have known that man? Yeah. Any demon we come across, I already told Departos, he has to bless the body. Uh, so otherwise it'll just get back up and continue to come after us. Uh, you don't want to talk to as many things as possible because they're just full of riddles and lies. So and, we don't want to be seen, is that what you're saying? I mean, we're going to need to be seen at least by a few things in order to make sure we know where we're going. You want to search the entire abyss for a porcelain mask? But if we don't want to be seen, we, should, <laughs> we don't... We should we don't. not be seen. <laughs> if it's a matter of life and death, we need I'll, to hide. <laughs> I'll squat down, and I'll be touching the grass, looking at it, looking across the field, and I'll whisper and cast past without trace on the group. I don't know, Druid's got that. <laughs> Keyleth used it all the time. I know. I realize this now. <laughs> you guys. I thought it was. Vex. Now get a just flat plus ten to your any stealth check you make for the next hour. Uh, yep. I just. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'll be right back, and I'm gonna take off at a dead set run, trying to be as quiet as possible towards this castle. Okay, so that plus ten only works if you are within thirty feet of Anuk. As a heads up. So if you talk to me. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't need the plus 10 necessarily. I mean, yeah. if I see him take off at a dead run, I'll just kind of wave at him. That worked so well for us when we split from the potty, but you know. Um, so, Z so Zykor, you're sprinting ahead to try to get a better look at the castle? Huh. Roll a stealth check with disadvantage as you were sprinting. Let us continue, I guess. Uh, that would just be normal for me because I have advantage on stealth. Uh, are you tired? What do you have advantage on stealth from? Boots of Elven Kind. Okay. 24. Plus 10. Well, no. You're out <laughs> nope, of range. Yeah. Of yeah. Very, very it's still pretty good. My range. Uh, so you sprint forwards. You guys are only a few hundred feet away from this castle. You sprint forwards away as you get to the top of a hill where you can get a clear view. And at the top of the hill, I am trying to keep myself as low as possible, like staying yeah, you're in the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you get to the top of this hill, and you see a man sitting there. Just putting out a campfire. You see he uh, has these two blades on his back. They are, uh, they look like uh, Kirkesh's. The large, like hooked cavalry sabers from like Middle Eastern era, or like the like Middle Eastern medieval era, mm -hmm. with a wrapped handle that is pitch black. The blades themselves are a shining silver metal. Long white hair travels down this man's back. Looks at you and goes, "Huh." Keeps closing up his camp. Sets down, gets on his horse, trots towards the castle. I just kind of watch him go. As he rides away, you get this view of these blades better. You realize that both of them are in the shapes of question marks in the way that they are held on his back. 
I just go back to the group. Okay. I will not say a word to him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as soon as you return to the group, there's a sound of a phew. And all of you turn and immediately. Oh, you passed that trace. Okay, never mind. Yeah, the, the road to the cottage is a few hundred feet or more. Or the castle, not the cottage. So, I will describe the man that I saw. Tell them that no matter how stealthy I or thought I was, he definitely saw me. <laughs> Acknowledged my presence, but wasn't bothered by the fact I was there or did not care. <laughs> he had two blades on his back in the shape of a question mark. <laughs> That's unusual. Uh huh. It's weird. He also headed straight for the castle. Hey, you know a lot about heroes and, and you know, having grown up with them and lived with them and spoke with them and stuff. Do you know of anybody that might have question mark sword blades? Zyko, roll a history check. <laughs> uh, something I'm not proficient in yet. <laughs> with uh, We'll say with advantage. Let Alex make this fun. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'll count it. Uh, so, nice. Zykor. Uh, I don't feel like this is a hero. Your, your family of adventurers <laughs> have gone on many a journey and many a peril. A lot of which involves solving puzzles, answering riddles, to enter the dungeons or to get past certain creatures. And there are rumors that float around of this man who is said to be a warning sign for these kinds of things. And that whenever he shows up, knowledge-based puzzles are on the way. He is very aptly referred to as the Herald of Trivia. It's amazing. I was so happy when I thought of that. And well done. I'm just rolling with it. Uh, <laughs> I'm so yep. mad. That's so good. <laughs> I just got it, damn it. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love it. You can't do that. Today is Father's Day, and I'm the only one who's allowed to make puns. Uh, you know what? But he's our dungeon daddy. <laughs> he is our dungeon daddy. Okay, fine. I, I've i had this plan for months. Okay. <laughs> Fair. I was just so excited for it. That's Solid. <laughs> Anyways, it's all yours now. That's that's it. Relay <laughs> that information. Now that I think about it, yeah, I do know who that is. You just nope, nope, nope. Wait, fuck! Like it took you to get the pun. Yeah. So pre be prepared for questions. I am so bad at riddles. Oh boy. Not all of them are riddles. But seeing him means that they're definitely going to be either a lot or very hard. Boy. And we're going to a castle in the abyss full of puzzles mm -hmm. and thoughts, experiments, and. Oh, all we gotta do is get it right, though. Hey, yeah. the Astral Sea is kind of looking nice now, isn't it? Uh, so, anyway, referring back to the <laughs> headless gnome back there, uh, literally, all we gotta do is just get it right. I know it sounds like a lot, but speaking with other members of my craft that have been there before, it's easier than we think it is, and we just need to try to not overthink it, which is what's something we do a lot, mainly me. Maybe he coming around to the group. I think he got it. But, I mean, the guy that you just popped his head off with a bag of holding was in and came in and out of the abyss before so depending on what we run into looking for what we're looking for I think we'll get out we'll do the best we can and there is literally nothing else here so that seems to be the place to be push forward as subtly as we can I suppose yeah. well, whatever's in the castle knows we're coming anyway because he was there 
I'm assuming they they probably know we were, we got here as soon as we came out of the portal. I keep our heads down, talk to as few people as possible, try to find a potentially giant porcelain mask. Big helps. Shield was big, so let's keep on keeping on, I suppose. Just walking down the path. Yep. Hmm? You I'm all pulling. walk up and you approach this castle. The front gates are barred. Completely sealed shut. No lock, nor handle. But in the center, where the gates meet, there are two outstretched hands carved out of stone. I'm going to turn around and look behind us to see if there's something to pick up. There's there's the not there, no. Uh, I wouldn't do that more than once. <laughs> I mean... No, these two hands, it looks as if... Uh, Think of them like the hands of someone begging on the side of the road. Outstretched, looking as if they want to receive. Uh, Zach, you would remember, and all of you from base, like, knowledge of, like, loose research on the Abyss, would remember that a lot of the puzzles required offerings to gamble with, essentially, to progress through the Abyss. And that they said that each one that you encountered or had to solve would the stakes would start to grow ever increasing is it warm in here in the abyss is it like hot not really it's it's definitely like a like a like moderate temperature hmm. do we see anything on the door or on like the size or any pictures or anything it's just these two plain hands roll an investigation check okay i will help him okay roll the advantage gary okay Oh, that's going to be a crit. Let's fucking go. <laughs> okay, roll a d6. Well, fucking twos, man. Every d6. <laughs> so you gather, Garagak, immediately as you look around this. There are no symbols, no runes, no anything like that. But you somehow just have this innate knowledge in your mind that comes through upon looking at this that knows that while you're in the abyss, there will be certain challenges and different pathways you can take to get through this castle to get through them you have to make offerings into these hands to begin the puzzle and if you answer wrong whatever you have offered will be taken from you but if you answer correctly you will get it back and be able to proceed further so you gather that once you make an offering of worth to these hands okay the puzzle will appear you also gather that should you choose to wager, wager things that would not fit in these hands, a simple note written with what you are offering will suffice. Okay. Uh, I hate myself. Because <laughs> it's good standing basher? Yes. It's so good. Do you uh, relay that information? Yeah, yeah. So I was to say, I'll relay it to everybody. And then I'll put a single ball bearing in the hands. Nothing happens. Unfortunately. <laughs> I will walk over it. I will put one silver piece in each of the hands. The doorway comes alight with runes that project a puzzle in front of you. And in all of your like familiar languages, giant or whatever, or common or what have you, you see the phrase, this room does not open. It's true. The room wouldn't open. The doors would open, not the room. Yeah. The hands close upon the silver pieces and then open once more. All right. I pull out the cauldron and set it on the ground. Okay. And I cast create water into it. Sure. Stir it up. Uh-huh. Pull out a bowl of food. Mm hmm This is some of the most valuable stuff I have. Put a little spice on it. Mm hmm Set the bowl of soup into the hands. The runes are light, and once more you see the phrase, this room does not open. I'll grab another bowl, and I'll just start eating. 
passing out bowls to everyone while we're standing here. Garagak, you would gather that until a clear answer is directly stated, you guys could converse about what the answer may be. But when someone states a clear and concise answer... Okay. I'll, uh, I'll let everyone know the, all the information I have. Are there doors or anything? Like, there are... It is there... just this gate and walls that stretch all around the premises. This room... What is a room that does not open? Like, in a home or in a... I, do, I don't know what you expected from us, Alex. Yeah. We have this, two brain cells. I expected this. Okay. Because y'all are going to be really mad at me when you get the answer. Yeah. Well, I immediately just jumped to the fact that a room never technically opens. <laughs> That's what I know yeah, said. I know. I said, yeah. Mm-hmm. But. Are there, are there any, like, mushrooms going around anywhere? Uh, there are not. Okay, could, could this be like a play on the words or something along those lines? Yeah, like, that's true. Like a broom or something along those lines. I, I kind of think Ellie's onto something. I think I may have something if we have to do it, but maybe we should just say mushroom. That was oddly yeah, specific, and so I am also was thinking mushrooms. Like, why are you specifically looking for mushrooms? <laughs> Mushroom. You say I that mean... to the gate, Zykor? Yeah. That was oddly specific, Ailey, but I like it. The hand shifts to where the bowl is held in one, and the gates swing open. <laughs> if we run into a talking caterpillar in here, I think it's time for us to go. <laughs> I learned that this week on the job. No way! I can't, I can't use that. And I'm like, this can't be the same one. Because it was more <laughs> slightly different. I, I Is it like what kind of a room has no doors or windows? Yeah, that's, that's what one I was... of my favorite jokes. Is what kind of room has no doors or windows? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. But I was like, no. And then he said mushroom. And I was like, no way! <laughs> It's, nice. it's like one of my favorite jokes, but I wanted to change it because I've told that joke to so many people in this in this like group that I was like, no, if I do that, they'll know. So I got to change it a little bit. Uh, I hate you. Because <laughs> I thought of the answer, but I thought it was wrong. It's like, no, it's not the same. It's not the same question. <laughs> if one of these ends up being the fucking B joke, I quit the show. <laughs> I'm thinking. What's a scary Maybe I have duck food in here. Booby. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Hold ghost bee. Yeah. I pick up the soup and walk uh, through. Okay, you walk through. Uh, you enter into a nice looking courtyard where all the vegetation is nice and trimmed and lush, but all black. And as you approach the door to the castle, you see a pair of hands where the handle should be. So I have a question. Okay. This is odd about, and this is about the vegetation. You said it looks lush and everything, it just looks black. Yeah. So are like the flower, are there any seed pods? Or is the grass headed out into like a seed? Roll a survival check. I'm a druid that's not trained in survival. Oh wait, yes oh. I am. It's a nine. Five plus four. Or no, four plus five. But did you want to roll as well? Yeah. Usually after you say I'm proficient, you roll a dice. So I was just kind of I thought weird. about doing it. <laughs> I mean, I'm also proficient in survival. I grew up in a forest. I am Ooh, technically so close. not. That's all Me about too. my um It's all about my wisdom modifier on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Garagak, you kind of point on Nook toward there are seed pods for all the plants like there normally would be. Oh, I just didn't see those there. Ah, I'm gonna gather some of the seed pods, okay. save them for later. Cool. That's it. Ah, we're going to have abyss plants on our boat. Is there only the one door when we go in? There's no other doors around us. It's just the one door with the hands. Uh, yeah, so the courtyard does like a full lap around the building. And as you guys take a walk around looking for other entrances, there's only the one door. Okay. okay. we got to have some contrast. You know, light green, dark green, all the color. I mean, you got to add some black in. 
Yeah, I would take off my goggles of night and set them in the hand. The Here hands. in uh, oh, sorry. No, uh, so I was like, gonna say, here in a note, talk about color and contrast. I'll pull out my colored candle and draw on the leaf. On, on the leaf? Are you just pick a black leaf and start coloring on it with your candle? Yeah, with my candle, my colored candle. Okay. It's a crayon. Eric, Eric, it's a crayon. A crayon drawing. <laughs> That's why I have colored candles. They're yeah. crayons. Oh, hey, check this out. I pull out a piece of parchment, set it over the leaf, and with the crayon, I do a leaf rubbing. Check nice. that out. That's really cool. Yeah. Guys, I'm trying to initiate the riddle here. <laughs> Yeah, and oh, you, sorry. as you as you say that, Lysa, you look back up and like in sprawled out in this like magical writing again. Uh, there is the question: What falls but never breaks, and what breaks but never falls? What falls but breaks. never breaks? What breaks but never falls? What'd you say? I said waves because they come crashing down in a fall or water, waterfalls. But waves both fall and break. That's too big. But, but would a waterfall? The hands close My goggles. around the goggles of night. That's okay. I don't need those. No, I mean, you don't. I, I need it's, it's those. One of, it's one of those like. <laughs> she nice. chose down. Goes down. <laughs> Is it dark? Do we need to? No, it's weirdly lit. Okay. It's like a dusk. It's like dusk lighting, where you like you okay. can still see everything, but there's not anything. There's not like a sun in the sky or a moon or anything like that. It's just. Sure. It was just a thing I had that was of value, but not too much value. It was like I don't. Here. Pull out another bowl of soup and set it in the hands. Uh, the hands do not, the riddle does not light uh, up with the soup. We have to raise the stakes. That's why I put the goggles in. Uh, as the soup is there, I will put one copper piece with it. <laughs> Nothing happens. Because you started with two silver. Yeah, but your pot's worth more than that. I was starting to see how much more we had to go to the goggles of night. I don't we have any coins. We can't do jumps. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just going to run ourselves out of money really quick. Yeah. Uh, Garagak, you would know that the it's not about what you offer. There are set stakes that would need to be met. So even if you offer more than those stakes, it'll still count, but it won't exponentially so, increase the next stakes. So it doesn't it increase based on what yeah. you offered previously. Did we get yeah, the two silver back yeah. from the hands mm -hmm. when we solved that riddle? No, your soup was the one that was... Yeah, yeah because we, we failed it with the silver mm -hmm. and we no, passed I just it wanted to make sure we didn't just find it as we walked past. Mm -mm. Like the door didn't drop it when it opened. Nope, we just get back the one that we get right. Anything else is sacrificed. We came in here with no stuff. <laughs> I think that's um, why Alex wanted to take some of our stuff. <laughs> like some of our everyday items that we wouldn't care if we lost to these damn games anyway. I will take out one of my <laughs> bags of dust um of choking and i see why you did that now i got you alex <laughs> it can't be big brain if you're the only one that knew the whole plan <laughs> i would argue that makes it the biggest brain Anuk, what are you putting on there um one of my bags of dust of sneezing and choking along with the soup and a copper piece sure okay the riddle lights up once more what about okay. wind Oh. No, but the wind. No. Does, I was thinking seasons, but it's not. I don't think it's going to be the. Wind. I mean, I know you're it's something similar to the seasons. It uh, it actually happens every day. Yeah, I was thinking like, right uh, fast. With, with so. the with the changing of time, night falls, day breaks. I only thought about it because I thought about the watch. Oh, that is. <laughs> night falls, I mean... but never breaks. Day breaks, but we never say day falls or the day has fallen. True. I mean, why not? We're going to run out of stuff eventually, but you know. <laughs> Nightfall and day break. 
Yeah. Or is night and day is the answer I'm looking for? The door opens. These two hands hold your stuff out to the sides. I was literally just thinking about it in sense of time. It's like, well, if we keep wa wait, we keep watch at night. <laughs> oh, pick up my dust and put it back and grab the bowl. That's what's clever, Zygmunt. Yay. We go through. Yep. I double hate you because I still thought I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys enter. Opening up in front of you is this grand foyer. And out of this room, you see there are four doors. It's a coop. That'd be a sedan. Coop is two doors. <laughs> and a hatch, so three. <laughs> I'll have to delete one random item off your... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Don't do that. It's fine. So there are two doors, one leading off to the right, one leading off to the left out of this foyer, and then there are two sets of stairs that lead upwards to their to doors of their own. On each of the doors, there are symbols. On the door to the right, there is an image of a mind, of a brain. To the door to the left, there's a picture of an open book. the top of the stairs, the right-hand door, there's an image of a sword. And the image of the left, at the top of the left-hand staircase, there's an image of the moon. So, I'm not picking. So we have no clue what this mask is. Waiter in this castle, this mask is. We don't even know if it's in the castle in the first place. I mean, we're here. We might as well figure it out. We don't... I'm assuming the symbols correlate to the type of... Puzzles. Puzzles and riddles and trivia we all come across in these chambers. Ilya, you are very book learned. Do you trust your book skills? What if it's not the type of question, but the type of offering? We'll find out. There's no way we can locate this thing because we have not seen it. Yeah. So we just have to go on faith. I guess. I guess to the... What would we offer to the moon? Like, I understand the other ones of, like, brain and sword and book. What? What is given to the moon? Is the uh, abyss? Is it like outside, or is it technically like a cave or dungeon or something? No, it's an entire plane of existence. Okay. Yeah. But multiple levels. Okay. Thousands of them, to be precise. Mm -hmm. Either way, uh, you guys pick. I will have no input here. If we have no preference, I suppose book do they all have like hands on them or are they just standard doors they all have hands in front of them i was gonna say i could try to commune with nature give us some information potentially i don't know if it would help <laughs> i'm not a cleric so i don't have any kind of like commune yeah that's all i have <laughs> at least then we know if like there's some badass celestial fey fiend or elemental or undead in some direction, <laughs> you know? Maybe we could pick a door easier? It, yeah, it could be worth it. Okay. I guess, uh... I'll stand, like... Only if this party would be terrified of doors. <laughs> right. Kind of, like, center We don't have of riddles. The doors. I guess I'll cast Commune with Nature. You cast Commune with Nature? Yep. Yeah. Inside uh, of this building. Yeah. You see a rat scurries up to you and goes. Okay. And then I guess I will ask the rat about what, what do we want to know? Is there anything? I can ask three things. Where the mask is? I can't ask that. 
I get, I get only ask three of the five things. Uh, oh, terrain yeah. and bodies oh, of water. okay. Prelevant plants, minerals, animals, or peoples. Powerful celestials, fey, fiends, elementals, or undead. Influence from other planes of existence and buildings. Influence. Because this okay. thing is from our plane. That's true. Yeah, influence may be a good one. Also, uh, powerful peoples, if there is like mm -hmm. a, a head of this castle. Okay. So I'll probably go with the prevalent plants, minerals, animals, or peoples, the powerful celestial and all that, and the influence from other planes. Kind of just like looks at you, shakes its head no. It doesn't have any knowledge of any of those things in the area. Hmm. Oh. This is a plane of nothingness. There were no phase fiends, undeads there. Fucking nothing here, huh? It would also be limited. You have to remember, it would be limited to what the beast would be able to know. Mm -hmm. And every room in here is locked behind puzzle doors. Or... He only knows this room. Is that how that works? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. It just says, I. What is it? I you, you briefly become one with nature and gain knowledge of the surrounding territory. Is that how that works? Yeah. There's no nature moving through these doors because they're all sealed. Uh. Mm hmm. Damn. Okay. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> that's all I got. It was worth a shot. I yeah. mean, I guess it's offer something to a door and hope for the best. If we have no preference, I go with book. Sure. Do we have anything to put on here that isn't more soup? Um. <laughs> I don't. I can stick a javelin on it i mean i got like five of them that is powerful and yeah. worth a lot i'll throw That's a javelin something. on the hands <laughs> don't throw a javelin <laughs> at the hands <laughs> yeah, no, not like uh, that you you set a javelin down and a question lights up this one different this one not in this like glowing mysterious thing this one lights up as if it's on a neon sign hmm. it pops up elongated itself out and it reads in a weird way that you as characters may not understand but you as players may for the rest of this encounter in the abyss for the rest of these rooms i need my players here to give me a solemn oath that they will do no googling they will do no researching they will do no anything yeah, man, let me you will answer these down. questions no. <laughs> with your minds only I trust all of you. I mean, you would see me moving to... Yeah. The question that pops up. At what level does a wizard get their second sixth level spell slot? <laughs> I'm so fucked. I have no knowledge on D&D. <laughs> Say it. I'm, and I'm gonna... I'm talking to the group not talking to the door yeah at this point you guys talk amongst yourselves as players yeah. about your knowledge that's 100 fine we are fully shifting out of meta for this i play half casters i kind of just look 14? at iliana how many do you have <laughs> how many times could you cast your most powerful spell per day right now one and yeah. you're tw oh you're not 12. even 12 you're like 11 aren't you no i'm 12 yeah, I'm totally right now. Oh, it, yeah, because was... the spell casting, never mind. Yeah. yeah. No, it was Tempard and Tumult that are a level behind everybody else. No, but she's yeah. multi classing. That's why uh, I asked. Yeah, I'm, I'm multi classing cleric, so, like, for spell The spell casting maps the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just if like. It's, yeah. If it's similar to Druid, at 13, I would get my seventh level spell. I think at yeah. 14, I would get one seven and two six. No. Yeah. Because it's like seven, eight, and nine, you only get ever one spell. I don't know enough about DD. I think it's 14. I think you're right. It's, it's sure, I think it's 14. 14. It sounds right. The consensus is 14th? Yeah, no. y'all were not ready for fucking DD uh, trivia. I'm, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to stick with it. I'm not really class, a guy, no. kind of a dunce. Uh, I, I can't kill you in combat, knowledge. but I can kill your brains with actual knowledge. I, I just don't play wizards. <laughs> uh, so if the consensus is 14th, 
That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The hands close on the javelin as it disappears. Oh no! And the hands it's reopen. Not. However, with this, it is not going to be just blanket guessing until stuff. It is a higher level by a margin. Oh. Oh, then it's seventeen. <laughs> my next what, what is being? Then. What is putting? Getting put on the thing? I'll take my my backup. And doing spellbook that just has a copy of all my spells in it, and put that on it. It lights up. I as, a general, <laughs> as a general note, when it comes to D and D, spell slots become much harder to obtain at sixth level and higher. Mm -hmm. Much, much harder. Because you get your, what, ninth level spell slot at 18? 17. At 17? And you wouldn't get the sex sixth one, I think, or the second sixth one until after that. So it would just be like 20? Because you can never, because you now only have one, seven, eight, and nine, and you still get access to more magic as you still head to 20. So if you get your first ninth level at 17, I think you don't get your. Second, sixth level until 18. Because that's that the only thing well. I can think of that you would get magic wise pass. Unless you get another fifth level first. Yeah, so you end up at three fifth level, if I'm not mistaken. So 16 has to be, I mean, so your second sixth spot should be at. It's so hard not to click even on my character sheet yeah. to look at it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I kind of want to say 19 now, because I know you would get it. I think you get one more. I'm trying to think of like normal casting without <laughs> from how many characters I have made and just look. If it helps, it. you only ever get two six level spell slots. That's what I'm saying. It has to be one of the, like the last couple levels. Then it's the, like one of the last things you get. Because you'll never, you'll never have two sevens, two eights, yeah. or two nines. So, would it be 18 then? Because I think 19 would be your, your second seventh level, but 20 is your second eighth level. No, you I think... Get, you don't get it's more than one level. I think it's 17 is ninth level, 18 is your final fifth level spell slot, okay. and then 19 will be your final sixth level spell slot. I, I'm, I'm okay with that guess. Do because it. 20, you get to cast magic differently, I think, right, for wizards? There, there's just something with your spell book that's different once you hit 20? Yeah, you get to choose a spell, and it's a little bit different. Um, yeah, but I feel like the spell slots. Um, I'm, I'm going to say 19. I, yeah, I'm okay with that guess. 19? Sure. Yep. Yeah. The door opens, holding the javelin aloft. However, I'd like to clarify that you, in fact, do get two seventh-level spell slots you at do? level twenty. Okay. I thought I thought you'd never got two. At twentieth level, you get your second seventh-level spell slot. Uh, I'm thinking of warlocks. Warlocks never get above fifth, except for Mister right. Arcanum. Exactly. Yeah. So the javelin has been consumed, but Ilya gets her spellbook back. Yes, that. Sorry. Okay. The spellbook is returned. When this door opens, you see an immaculate study full of books, <laughs> full of uh, tables, good. notes scrawling around. And at the far end of the room, there is a display case sitting ever so gingerly. I okay. tuck my hands up under my armpits and I go to look in the display case. Let you know how little kids... Yeah. <laughs> I don't have pockets, so it's... Yeah. Uh, you walk through the to the display case and inside you see a wand. Is there any, like, placard on this display case? Nope. Can I walk up and look at the wand? What sure. The wand, look like? uh, the wand looks like a stick. No, yeah. it. it does look like a stick, but at the end of the stick, it appears tied to it is some sort of creature. 
it's bound in rope. You can't really tell exactly what it is through like the the glare of the display case itself, but it looks to be like a branch, like a small branch of a tree or a twig that broke off with something tied to the end. Of it. Hmm. I think we should look at the desk. Maybe there's some notes about what's in the case. Yeah, I would go look over, like overlook the desk, see if I see any writing on the notes or. Uh, roll an investigation check. Everybody can roll one if y'all are going to spend a little bit of time looking around. Um, no. I will help somebody and give them advantage. Who? Somebody who is proficient. I'm proficient. <laughs> Garagak. Yes! Garagak. I don't know why. I love the ones you chose, Coda. I appreciate it. I didn't know what I was doing. We're buddies. I'll help Garagak. Yeah, um, just... Oh, let's go, baby. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Just slinging them. <laughs> This, what's, the what's the D6 though? What's the D6? What's the D6? I'm proficient. And it's because I keep giving you uh, the advantage. <laughs> I keep getting you it know. on the advantage roll. Uh, Alex, I just want to put it out there that uh, you spoke this into being in roll 20 when you allowed Garagak to train for criticals with uh, our, <laughs> yeah. our good friend on the boat. Roll 20 updated his personal profile information to crit more often. I'm kind of due. <laughs> Because I didn't crit for shit without using DM points against that damn Titan. That's true. Roll a D6. <laughs> Just roll your D6, damn it. Five. <laughs> Five. It's not a two. Hmm. So first and foremost, you do see fallen into the ground, but somehow just apparates into existence of name plaque. Way to go, Crash. Off of this display case that says Wand of Polymorph. Let's go. You also find that the lock there's a heavy enforced with magical rune locks on this display case is somehow just already popped open. You have <laughs> opened and just left the wand here. You're very sure there at some point was a magical trap, but it is long past dispelled. You gather that this is free for the taking. <laughs> so sweet. Hey, Eliana, you want the wand? It does what I can do sometimes. I'll let everybody know all the stuff. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pick up the wand and, like, I'll wave it around and, like, I'll see if I can, like, feel how they cast from it. Like, then you do a tune to it or something. Uh, you can look up a wand of polymorph and add it to your equipment. It does require attunement by a spellcaster to use. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> We take those. Yeah. I was expecting it to be like those. cursed. If you touched it, then the, the whole place would go bad because we're not allowed to take the things. I thought he just moved the death house well, with questions from Strahd over here he, real quick. To be he did honest. say the lock had some sort of magical curse that just kind of just poofed. So. Well, we do have a rogue now who can pick locks. True. What do you mean no? <laughs> He's not that kind of rogue. I, I remember I am a persuasion, deception, performance rogue. But You're you not even an assassination pick. rogue? Do you not have thieves tools? Uh, no. Not currently. <laughs> Worst rogue. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, okay. is there any Oh, wait, no, door? I do. I do. They're just in my other bag. My bad. Is there another is there, door in here, or is it back into the not. foyer? It is it's just this. Oh, I expect there. So we will add. Yeah, uh, you see her. We <laughs> have, we'll have the dice that find us wives, where it's just Emma's <laughs> hand and the very distant Amber. <laughs> yeah. Laura will just be there uh, on occasion. Well, it's because I don't have the background. This no, time. it'll just yep. be like a half, like, faded out <laughs> yeah. of existence copy of her. <laughs> I think she's done that a time or two. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Looking farther around the room, is there? Is it just end here? Like there's no other hallway or anything? No, yeah, no. It's just this empty little room. It's just a sad little loot room. This is a little treat. I sad. We just got a lot of polymorph. This is great. It's, this, this, this is a little treat. This is a little treat All for right. you. Uh, let's go to the brain door. Brain door. Okay. I'm scared now. <laughs> yeah, I'm slightly intimidated by the concept of brain door because we've had our brains sucked. Oh, I'm not scared of the brain part of it. I'm more just scared of the box with of the person that has he's running it as his name right now. <laughs> because if he's if he's being this nice with the first door, granted we chose this door out of four, but he's being a little bit too nice with two doors. 
Maybe we should switch up and do like the opposite. Like we did like the book door, which is like smarts, and then there was like a sword door. Maybe we should like. We could do that. Or we're going to walk in there and fight something. That's what That's true. I'm thinking. Or, or I could, or somebody get a badass weapon in the case. <laughs> I like that it's I or somebody. <laughs> Could get yeah, cause you thing. cause you need anything but Danny Basher. I would never use anything but Danny Basher, okay. or at least attunement wise. Until I take it away. <laughs> he said he'd kill Garagak to try to get it back, so I think he would just move on to his next character. <laughs> if, I, if if I lose Danny Basher, I'm fating us back to Nightstone. <laughs> <laughs> All the way back to Nightstone, not even just before you lost Danny Basher. <laughs> wait, wait. So you're going wait where at in Nightstone and which Nightstone? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'd have to be real specific. specific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Send us back to Dandelion. You... No, what if he goes that. back to the, before the first time he died and ever made the first deal with Dandelion? <laughs> okay. Good. Brain door, We're... sword door. Are we going to do the brain door, door, sword door, more? I want to do it. It's the up brain to you guys. Door. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. Brain, brain door? door. Okay, I'll walk up to it. I think this might be a wise trap or something. So I'm going to put a pearl of wisdom in there. And I put in my pearl of power. Pearl of power. That's a lot. That's expensive. I'm not using it. That's, that's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we definitely have things between, a, a, like, a, starting at a lightning javelin cost up to your pearl of power. <laughs> Yeah, I have another it lightning was, javelin. It was a pretty weak pearl of power. It's I mean, also, if if he does not use or attune to it, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Like, we don't yeah. get use out of it. I hadn't used, I had been attuned to it, and I hadn't even I used it. I could just put, like, my empty bag of holding on it. It's too late, I already yeah, put it the there. Yeah, the pearl's there. What, the what pearl is there. Uh, which door did you go to? Brain, brain. 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 The brain door. No, it's where is the brain door. You are fighting somebody armor class 12, and you have to use Thacko. No. What the fuck is Thacko? <laughs> to, to hit, hit armor, armor class, class zero. zero. Oh, no. <laughs> it is I the original. My... I can get my 3-5 manual. It's nope, 3-5 was AC. I know. We're talking AD and D and 3-4. The original bullshit, stupid ass, broken as shit, Unusable Alex, to Alex, hit mechanic. Let's go. Oh, we take those. <laughs> we take those. I love that that's all involved into our day to day. It is. Lexicon now. I say it all the time. <laughs> Same. We take those. Our yes. entire fight group says that a lot. Or potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> When you get to the brain door, you put in the Pearl of Power, and popping up is another one of these signs. Mm -hmm. The Artificer class. Fuck. <laughs> to be fair, okay. Rob is an Artificer main. <laughs> Not the Artificer no. class gains an ability called Flash of Genius. At 7th level, this ability allows you to aid your friends with certain roles. What exactly does it do to help? What bonus would you give to the role? Okay. I never got to seventh level, so I don't know. But if I remember correctly, it is your intelligence modifier. Yeah, I think it would, just based on the context of it, mm -hmm. I agree that adding the artificers in mod would make sense. It's either the int mod or the spellcasting mod, which is ant and perception. Or in proficiency. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. But I think it's the intelligence mod. Anyone else got any other ideas? Not when it comes to artificer. I I've played a barbarian. Um, and a bard. It, oh yeah, I did play a bard. Yeah. I mean that doesn't help bard. you here, but you you played no. more than a barbarian. Yeah, I, I played for a bard for a little bit. Final answer. <laughs> Intelligence or, mod. You say the intelligence modifier? Mm hmm. The door opens, holding your pearl aloft. Nice. Take that back. We're not using our, our fire rings yet for a while, are we? On the way back out? Yeah. Yeah. 
I was just waiting until we actually were looking to leave to reattune to mine, because I'd cool. rather have my short sort of warning, because yeah, I can't but... get surprised now. No, I just don't want to lose it. I don't want that to be a thing we put here, and then they die in the fiery pits on the way out. I'm not going to put it on there. That anyway, what's in the room? Walk in the room. What's the door the opens, room? and you see a tinkerer's workshop. You see strewn about. It is cluttered. There are small, like, gears and other mechanisms lying all about, just strewn across. You see all sorts of different, like, half-built automatons of different kinds. Um, that's what you see at a bla base, base glance. Into the I don't think this is natural. I, don't I like will this. help Garagak investigate if he's going to go looking for something. It won't work. It only works so far if I do it. <laughs> then I'm helping Lysander. Yeah, I was just planning on glancing around. I will help Garagak. Okay. <laughs> Investigation? Eliana, do you want to investigate also? <laughs> okay. Uh, Tapartos would like to help Eliana. Yeah, fuck it. All right, yeah. that's fine. Everyone at advantage. <laughs> so Lysander, Garagak, and Ileana roll with advantage. Oh, not Dang. this time. Fifteen. If Ilya also gets a fifteen. Well, you know, third time <laughs> was. <Mine>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, that's let's the go. one that hero. That's the one that hero said he was helping investigate. No, it's no, Partos was. Partos was helping. Oh, Partos, Partos yes. was. <laughs> But it was the first roll, so it wasn't the... Alrighty, guys, and that brings us to the final conclusion of the Dice that Bind Us. <laughs> Show's over. I quit. It's, it's not a dandy crit. I'm over it. Yeah, it's not I'm a dandy home. crit. It's, it's not, not a dandy, dandy crit. crit. You are home. She just looks real good. Shut up. The viewers don't know that. <laughs> We're trying to put it out there. You're quitting for something else. <laughs> it's not Gear Gag's fault. I'm quit. I'm. I, I quit. Bo. I know. I told you literally this morning that I was gonna run this show as long as you want us to, but I take it back. I'm out. Goodbye. My party rolls too fucking many crits for me to deal with. Uh, Eliana with a 29 investigation. Several things in this room pop out to you as you're taking a look around. One. Inside of one of the automatons in the back, there's a small glowing orb slowly pulsating sitting inside of a tool chest at the very bottom with all sorts of like what would be like socket wrenches and all sorts of other just various tools you see a small ring in the very bottom a beautiful ornate silver ring with uh, a brilliant line of gemstones across the top and you see a letter It's F, actually. Oh, this tinker failed his exams. There's there's two letters. It's F and U. Yeah. <laughs> is, is, is that it? Like, just those three? Yeah, just those three. Cool. I don't know if this will work, but I, like, walk up. Are they within, like, 30-ish feet of each other? Yeah. You could detect cool. magic and hit all of them. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to use Steel Wind Strike, but instead, like, stoop at every, like, just real fast. You're, just, you're gonna use Steel Wind Strike to just pick them all up at once? Devin, that's a high level spell! <laughs> I, think, I think it would look cool. Like, so, like, all okay, be like oh. he's also <laughs> one of the most powerful children of elven kind. That's true. She is she is a child. It's also so, really smart to avoid traps. So you walk in. All of you are kind of like investigating. Ileana walks in. And just boop, 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 bounces around the room. Uh, which one do you want to end by? Uh, the letter. And then I'll just like end with like picking it up casually. And just kind of like opening it. Okay, so you flash across the room. You grab this orb out of this thing's chest. And I need everybody in the room, which is all of you, because you were all helping or investigating to roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Um, if anyone is within 10 feet of me, they get a plus five. How all of you, this room? All of you would be within 10 feet of Lysander. 
So far, I'm the only one in danger. 34. Shut up. I <laughs> <laughs> crit. Uh, I am aware. I mean, you got uh, an 18. An 18 not bad. All of you save. But on the save, you will take half of... I was briefly very scared because I thought I was still at six. 18, so you'll take nine damage as this automaton explodes and fires shrapnel all over the place. Actually, Garagak, you would take none. I take oh, none. because yeah. it's not magical. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you also take none because of evasion. So. Uh -huh. Ow. <laughs> Eliana, you open the letter. Uh, I'm sorry, Lysander. And then can I give Lysander double C the lingo? Uh, but like, it's so, okay, but like... so uh, before you do that, because you said at the end, you casually pick up the letter and yeah. open it. As you open it, this black powder floats out of it. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. You would get a plus five. <laughs> 16. That's bad. Good to know. Ileana, you open the letter. You apologize to Lysander. If you want to do the healing word, you can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll that. Nice. Uh, okay. Hey, I healed more than I was hurt. Go. Okay, so what happens with this black? It floated out. Know. Ileana inhaled it. What does the letter say, Ilya? Can I read it? You can. Uh, the first thing you notice is that on the front of this envelope, it says, do not open... If you're a demon ass bitch, it will hurt you. Or do not open unless you're a demon ass bitch, it will hurt you. Whoops. And then on the inside, there's a letter, and it is like scribbled writings of just like someone who is clearly just like at wit's end, like slowly losing their sanity. But you start seeing things that says the doors are changing, nothing's the same, impossible to map. No way through, no way out. What do these words mean? Where are these numbers coming from? Have I gone mad? What's a dungeon master? <laughs> what are spell slots? Aw, oh, he broke the fourth wall. And the very last thing you notice on this letter is that kind of scribbled out and rewritten a bunch of times in one little small line it says don't trust the final three doors okay oh. yeah i'll be reading that out loud so, everyone... so i don't think we trust any of the doors because um uh we don't know when the last three ones are gonna be there i kind of would walk out back to the foyer and see if I can look out the doors into the courtyard? Yeah, you look out the open door. And... They, they don't seem to be changing yet. I'm going to uh, take my colored candle and in front of all the doors that we've, like, the ones we came through, I'm going to just write this exit including the one at the front. And then I'll put like brain door in front of the one we just did, and then book door and the other one. You see these tiny creatures pop the tiles out running across the room, going <laughs> <laughs> and like slide them back in. Um, no, that doesn't happen. You write it all down, everything looks fine. Yeah. Um, Cody, you're so smart. It's a crayon. <laughs> <laughs> Bet they're tasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he sharpens them. Yeah. <laughs> On his tongue. He just eats it. Out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you've opened this room. Um, Ileana, you get. Uh, you did your steel and strike. You've read this letter. You have this orb in one hand, and you have a ring that you've collected as well. Um, I'll hold them up and show it to everybody. And I'll just say, this is, this is all I found. Um, I can start to identify them if you all want. I mean, we can take some time if you need to 
study your book to, you know, cast that spell. Um, let's go find the next little, and then maybe I'll sit down while you all think about it and do it. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see what happens next, you know? But, yeah. but Devin, you have the most D&D brain cells. Not the most, you have a high amount. Elion so, is very distraught right now. So I'm trying sword to, like, door, keep that yeah. in mind. Or moon door. Sword door, moon door. I... It's, we can go for sword door? Or are there more door? Hmm. <laughs> sword door it is. <laughs> We're just moving past it to the sword door. <laughs> we have to run into it because you can't walk into Mordor. Um. <laughs> One does not simply enter Mordor. You're both terrible. <laughs> Well, there is two, so it's Parador. I would like our DM to continue DMing our campaign, please. <laughs> He's turned himself off. He's just full-on dissociated for the last five minutes. He did say he quit. <laughs> look, at you. look at me. It's my campaign now. <laughs> Deal. Except I don't know anything, so you're good. This is also supposed to be his 20 campaign. You're going to take him there. <laughs> Almost didn't. <laughs> that was my bad. Yeah. <laughs> that just means that a nook doesn't make it to 20. Someone else is about to make it, though. <laughs> we approach the sword door. Yes. You approach sure. the sword door. I am going to cut so much out of this episode. <laughs> no, don't. It's all good content. Uh... <laughs> Everything is content. I'll uh I'll put a javelin in the hands. Put a javelin of lightning in the hands? Yep. Nothing happens. Because you already did that. Just oh no, like he I... said it. He no, said but he, it but he said it doesn't matter. Yeah. He said it's a it predetermined. It just has to meet a certain value. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I learned that on my one my first net twenty, I think. <laughs> I'll put a gold piece in there with the javelin. <laughs> gold piece and javelin still nothing? Still nothing. Just yeah. take, take, take the javelin out. Take, take out. Okay, I'll pull I, the javelin out. I have another thing. And you can I'm just keep putting your right pearl now. there until it doesn't open a door. If you already don't care about it. <laughs> I put the ring of protection in there. The riddle lights up. Pray tell. What? Does the throne weapon fighting fighting style do? That's in Tasha's. This is the one thing that I <laughs> believe was the only good thing to come out of Tasha's. That's that's the riddle. <laughs> um, and I vaguely know some of the things, but I didn't look too much into it. Gives you proficiency with throne weapons. This is to the group, not to the door. This is to the players. Our characters wouldn't yeah. know this. <laughs> um, gives you proficiency with thrown weapons, and it allows you, as a free action, to pull more thrown weapons, if I remember right. So if you have, like, three attacks, you can pull out and throw three different things without having to have all of them in your hands at one time. Changing weapons as a free action or something like that. I have no additional that's, clue. Yeah, so. that's, that's about all I got. I, I think that's right. Like, I didn't look too much into that fighting stuff because I was looking at multi class as a fighter. That wasn't something I was interested in. But I remember do. Uh, I remember looking at it because I, was, I had I had to read everything to see what I wanted. But <laughs> can I use my phone a friend on this? I'm gonna call Tim. I have absolutely nothing. I haven't read anything in Tasha's. I, I haven't read shit. <laughs> so what? What Rob said. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if I'm correct though. That's the problem. We also don't know if you're correct either, and if you're not, we're fucked. Okay. Yeah. We'll stick with it. We might not be opening the sword door. <laughs> 
So, uh, the thrown weapon fighting style does none of those things. Is that the thrown weapon speed? I believe so. Uh, Let me just go grab the book. It's not Google. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> Loophole. <laughs> um... No, this one works very similarly to it's it's one of the fighting styles of fighter. So it's not the massive boost, it's just like the small boost that you get for fighting in a very specific Oh yeah, way. like my protection to fighter means I can block someone within five feet or give disadvantage if they attack someone within five feet of me. Oh, right. does it give you proficiency with any with like improvised thrown weapons? Uh, I did say already that oh. it does not give you proficiency with any uh, anything. Oh. Think of things like uh, duelist. Or... Does it give them, like, they get to add a special bonus to their extra, like, their secondary attack with a thrown weapon or something? That'd be two weapon fighting. No. Uh... They could possibly make an attack and throw a weapon at the in the same turn, like dual weapon fighting. Or throw two weapons. In the same turn, possibly, yeah. Without multi-attack. You guys are circling around the same things that were previously said. Yeah. Think small. It's just a small little benefit. Little things. That's a flat damage bonus to thrown weapons? Like a plus two to damage or something? I think it's a plus two to hit. Plus two if to it's hit. Because oh, like... like uh, because like Archer. Archer, Archer gets plus two... Uh, and then the other one's like, you get to hit something, you get to add proficiency bonus, you get to protect somebody, you get plus two to AC for defensive. I feel like it's like a plus to hit. Do we have to get the specific number right if it's a plus to hit? <laughs> I will, I will tell you this. The archery feat and the thrown weapon, or the archery fighting style and the th thrown weapon fighting style are very similar. It's the same bonus, just the different things. Plus two to damage. Cause I think archery is, I'm pretty sure archery is plus two to hit cause I've looked at it. Yeah. So they're different things and I think it's plus two to damage. I mean, I mean, we could just also not open the sword door, but watch the yeah. mask is behind fucking sword door. <laughs> I mean, we lose the item if we... Yeah, you also we, haven't no, put anything else. new in the sword door. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it would definitely ate his regular protection? <laughs> yeah, we answered wrong. Yep. I just never heard him say it close to hands. <laughs> I thought maybe he was just being his typical... Uh, you guys are going so wrong with this. Here's a little sprinkle. <laughs> I have literally nothing. No. <laughs> I've looked at Tasha's, but I actually haven't gone through and actually read it, so I, I have nothing. Unless you have something you want to sacrifice to make that guess, but I I don't have much left. I can, again, put my like <sighs> empty bag of holding there if you think you have a chance of being correct. Or save the bag of holding for the moon door. Moon door. Yeah, we could always just come back. Yeah, we can just come back. Because we don't know if the question will change if we leave and come back or not. We just know like if we do the same door over and over again, the question doesn't change. But the person's note said that the doors change, but we don't. He didn't write down how they change or when they change. So it, it could even change the question if we go to another door and come back. It's true. I would go up to Liana. Are you okay? Uh huh. You seem a little shaken. Yeah, I I thought that we lost more friends, but they're back and I'm okay now. I just want to get through this, and then and then everything is gonna be okay. Eliana, I've known you a while now. You don't God lie damn. to me, and like I won't push it more, but I will gently put no. my hand on your shoulder and pump. Um, five points of lay on hands to cure a disease or poison. It may be a curse, so... Mm. That is the first time I've used my lay on hands. I can't mark two and a half points! 
Um, Juliana will look down and just kind of like hold her hands up for a hug. I would hug Juliana. I'll just kind of walk over to the moon door. Okay. You guys really aren't going to like this one. As a heads up. I didn't like the last one. Fair. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I have like zero D&D knowledge, so. I will tell you this is not the entire dungeon. I promise I you that. I feel like it's it was just specifically these... just this, these four. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just mad I never cared about thrown weapon fighting. <laughs> like, that was, that was just the whole thing. Um, Wand of Magic Missiles. Lillian will take one out and put one in. It lights up. The Blood Hunter class. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the Blood Hunter class has currently four different orders as their subclass. Name any uh... two. I don't even know what the fuck a blood hunter class is. I'll just smoke off that wand of magic missile. <laughs> it's it said two because one of them is is like the one that they're known for. So I figured two would be. F- blood hunter. I watched is a Molly class play. I watched from... Allison play it, but I never. Critical Role Code. It, yeah. was, it was a class that was made by Matt Mercer. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think you would like it a lot, actually. Was it the first extra class that got put in from him? Yes. Uh, was it? It's the That's first full that... class, yeah. Because Gunslinger is just a subclass. Okay, that makes sense. I know, guys. I made something <sighs> hard. I'm sorry. I just have no D&D knowledge, so I can't yeah. You know what? I'll be right back. I gotta go to the restroom. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have both of those books. So are so, they... Are they, like, specific creature-type hunters? So would it be, like, Lycan Hunter? Or something like that? I don't know. It is not okay. about... They are, they are not about hunting specific things. That is like a... That's like the ranger's big... Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah that's the ranger's thing. The blood hunter... I was thinking of Kimber's homebrewed shenanigans. I was thinking of the bulk eaters. The, uh... The blood hunters... Oh, God, are... Their orders are based off of, like... What your blood powers do, I think. Like, exactly how they would manifest. And I just Either... watched the... In they what they manifest in what transformation for one cursing for another or all I don't remember I haven't looked too much into it I'm trying to think here <laughs> yeah I think you just lost a wand of magic missiles <laughs> I have no clue that is unfortunate is there any- no guesses. Moon. Dragon, Anybody have a DM uh, inspiration owl. they can burn for a hint? I do, but I only have one left. That's my concern. Same. We have not been getting them the same way. I know. Uh, somehow Coda hasn't gotten one this session for anything he said so far. <laughs> I, I have one, yeah. But is there... My only concern... There were no other doors in this chamber, were there? Yeah. That's correct. So we have to answer, we might have to answer all the fucking riddles to proceed. Which sucks, because they're about two books we don't know anything about. You guys do know that the doors change, so if you could figure out what causes the doors to change, that could be a way to kind of reset things and... Because I'll I'll tell you right now, I randomized which, like, what stuff the the doors questions are about. It's just based off of each, like, section of the dungeon is based off of different types of things to answer. Yeah. We could try leaving this room and I was thinking coming that back as well. In. But yeah. then we might have four doors we have to re-answer. But eventually we'll get all the questions, right? <laughs> eventually. Maybe. And losing a lot of stuff in the process. Mm. Yeah, I think it is worth it to try and leave and return so some of this makes sense. But I'm- 
If we leave and we close the door, does the no new riddle on that door too? So much I is mean, unknown. To test my first theory, it's gonna cost us maybe one more item over at the sword door. To okay. test my theory. What is your theory? The one that Let's I said before we, we came over here, like we like. We don't know if, because if, you mentioned changing it, so we don't know what changes it. So it could mm. just be something simple, like just going to a different door without answering. Um, or from failing. That's true. We or from failing. the previous ones. Because like before we failed, but we immediately put an item back on it without going anywhere else. I mean, I have a, a bag of holding that's just holding the, spell to, components and materials. To be fair, it also said things could be intangible. I can sacrifice a spell. And I have other things I am willing and able to sacrifice for higher points. Let's let's test this. And we'll go back to the sword door. Since I have a spell slot available, I would be willing to sacrifice a first level spell to see if the door comes back. A first level spell slot? Yes. So if we get this wrong, is that permanently just taken off of his character sheet? Maybe. The door lights up. A different question. Fighters have an innate ability to fortify themselves when making saving throws. It gives them the ability to re-roll those saving throws. What is that ability? Because that's not second wind, because that's healing. It's not action surge, that's additional turn or additional action. Do all fighters get superiority die? Mm -mm. I got another. <laughs> oh. Not everyone has question. your encyclopedic knowledge of D and D, Alex. I didn't think this was gonna be that hard. I knew the Blood Hunter one would be fucked, but I thought the other ones were like. I just know literally nothing about. None D &D. of us. Ha none of us play that class. <laughs> and nobody has. Most of us don't have your fifteen years of experience. I understand that. I understand that. I knew it was gonna be challenging. That was the whole point. These things are supposed to be hard to get. I want to say Stone's Endurance, but I think that's Amp Guard. That's also an orc thing. No. Oh. That's a... Yeah, no, Stone's no, Endurance, Endurance is, is a Goliath. Thing. Yeah, that's what I damage meant, sorry. Reduction. That, yeah, that's their role. I, mean, I was like, wait, I have something? <laughs> sorry, it was a Goliath thing. Yeah. Um, is what does it, it mean to be... Is it Persevere? No. What does it mean to always persevere? What does it mean when you cannot be defeated? What is a word for those things? Enduring? Similar. Similar. Is it like relentless endurance? No, that's me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that one is me. <laughs> <laughs> We're combining the correct buzzwords for the wrong things. <laughs> So it's either, yeah, enduring, persevering, like, similes for that. Synonyms, not similes. I was just gonna let you have it. <laughs> I got there. So it's not like enduring physique or something, right? That was like something dumb that they would put on fighter. <laughs> like, no, wording, like, name-wise. Oh. oh, wait, is it unyielding something? My brain's not firing on all cylinders, so I have no idea. It's valid. Ah. Oh. I will say this. 
you guys already talked about how to reset. You guys have already figured out how to reset the questions. There's a way to reset the basis of these questions and what they're based on. I mean, I say we, if nothing else, don't close the door. Just walk out and walk back in and see if that changes it. Yeah, that is reasonable. I do not have big brain energy today. Not, not for fighters. I got nothing for D and D, you know. <laughs> I can't give us any other class. I know very little. Well, if we go out and come back, we reset the. Yeah, it'll possibly. reset. It may no longer be D and D trivia. It may be something else. Or it may be different. Now, I feel classes. like each. For what Alex said earlier, I think each floor is the same content. Like so, it is, this will be related to D and D classes. It, the doors just change what classes it's yeah. about. And we could hit barbarian, with uh, we already did wizard, but it could be barbarian and druid and rogue. Go oh mine. Yeah, it is worth it to leave and come back. I am stumped. I got another. You guys, gonna walk out and walk back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You walk out, you walk back in. The two doors that you had previously opened are still open, but sitting on the two doors at the top of the staircases, there are two new symbols. One, a leaf, and one, a glowing halo. I feel like I'm the leaves are best, but... <laughs> kind of scared of the halo, though, because the person that this would probably pertain to is not here today. I also play a lot of clerics. Okay, never mind. We're fine. We got life. <laughs> now, do I mark off a spell slot or do I lose a spell completely? You just mark off a spell slot. That was your intention. That's what you offered. I'm not going to, like, big brain fuck you over Leaf. this, like... Leaf door. Leaf door? Leaf, Leaf yeah. door. I'll walk up to this one and offer a second level spell slot. It lights up. The ranger class? No, I'm just fucking with you. It's druid. Uh, <laughs> let me let me switch around my stuff here. Sorry, guys. Don't be. Now here's where we fuck it up and we make it so he has to go through like 20 of these and keep thinking of more shit on the spot as we go into another chaos dimension. <laughs> Alex, we're done. We have so many spell slots. <laughs> turn, it, turn it into a six month journey that gets us more friends. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, we find Mug Mug. <laughs> a pottery selling goblin. At what level do a base druid's wild shapes lose the restrictions of flying and swim speeds? Uh, those restrictions of swim speed at what, like six? Because I know it's early. And fly speed at Eight or ten, eight or nine. I was before ten. Is it I before thought. 10? I thought. Isn't fly? You lose fly first, and then you lose swim, or is it the other way around? I think you lose swimming first. Fly flying, flying, flying. You're swimming yeah. at five. I think. I think swim is six. I know flying is the last one you lose. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think because it's not four or, or eight, because those are when you get ASIs. We can kind of brain it through a little bit. You turned into a giant crab while fighting the last riddles. What level were we then? Like 10. What level were we when we went to Dandyland? Originally, like 6. <laughs> Cuz I could do I could do a giant crab in Dandyland when we went to the second You could stone. also you could also I do could also fly. flying stuff. So maybe it is like someone six. roll me. If you allow me, I can check my notes. That kind of is Google. <laughs> Cause they're my own records that I have kept. Someone roll me a insight check. Oh, I I'm I'm good at that. I, okay. Oh. Yeah. I'll help a note this time. <laughs> someone else will in it, I will help a note. <laughs> Okay. No, yeah, yeah, that's fine. 
27. This is based off what I remember. When you guys entered Dandyland, I do believe you guys were level 8. And he lost both of them by then. He could fly. Correct. Yep. So, yeah, so it's 6 and 8, I think. Because it, it's not like... The question is specifically, when, when, at what level are both of those restrictions gone? So it'd be okay, not, so eight. Yeah, it's not two steps, it's just one of those two. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's eight. How's the question worded? At Maybe what level seven. does a Luid, Druid's wild shape lose restriction of flying and swimming? Okay. okay. Base Druid, have, not... Base Druid, not any, like, because Moon Druid gets it earlier. Yeah, I, I was just... I don't know how it was worded. I was just gonna be like, you could say twenty, because you're not restricted to either at twenty. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> when they lose. Yeah, that's why I was yeah. like, how's that worded? <laughs> but again, eighth level would be eight. I think eight is when you lose flying, because you don't lose it to the level but after. That's also an ASI. I don't know if they. A lot of classes. Up. A lot of classes gonna get side of it. Like casters get more like a higher level spell slot on ASIs and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I, will, I will clarify that. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I, I sure. highly. I'll, I'll start get level eight. eight. Sure. Yeah. Level eight. Yep. Yeah. The door opens. Nice. You do not lose so, your spell slot. I was highly certain because I also have a little door little hand holding that you guys. You guys asked the correct questions and brained it out in a, in a correct way. I'm willing to help out with that. That's that's fair. Okay. As this door opens, you see it opens up into. Uh, a very comfortable sleeping quarters. There's about eight beds, all looking very comfortable. Uh, there's a fireplace going. Uh, there's some food. There's uh, like water, some wine, some ale. Uh, a little desk in the corner. This looks to be a very comfortable place to rest. We just open the door to our next home. Is there like any notes or journals that can be seen? No. I am uncomfortable with the idea of resting here. Is there a can insight check the room for a vibe check? Yeah. Give a vibe check. Give her a vibe check. Get the vibe check going. Air room needs a good vibe check. Oh, first roll was a twenty-eight. Sorry. That's fine. No, that's fine. Uh, you genuinely do not feel any negative energy from this room you gather that this is just a place to rest figures this would be the druid's room to be honest you, you gather <laughs> you gather that this is a room that your dm gave you so that you guys could take a long rest uninhibited in the middle of this dungeon not possibly knowing cut, what the future holds possibly cutting this episode as well hardcore use a long rest i know a lot of you guys Same. use long rest especially after the megara fight yeah a lot of my rage is gone. I mean, if it feels safe, it is worth it. And yeah, I, I will flat out say it feels safe. Um, but also, don't shut the door, because we don't know if it traps us in here or not. I mean, that's fair. Uh, you guys, I'm assuming, are going to take opportunity and take a long rest. Sure. Yeah. You guys take uh, a long I'm rest. Down. It is, un it is unimpacted, it is uneventful. You guys rest, you recover your spell slots, your health, all that jazz. Do I recover all of them, like the ones that I used to open doors? Uh, you, you would, yeah. Okay. That's, um, the, I, that's the thing, was like, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna permanently make you lose those. That was just, you had resources to burn through, that's fine. So yeah, I guess we, while we are futzing, we can think about the riddles. Uh, I would approach the halo door. A halo door pops up when you offer what? Um, I will empty my bag of holding and place it. You place the bag of holding on and it lights up. The cleric class has a feature called divine intervention. How is it calculated if divine intervention succeeds? And does that ever change? If so, when? Yes, actually, I know this one. Um, it is based on your spell level, or not your spell level, your your cleric level, mm -hmm. 
Um, and you have to, on a D100, you have to roll you one to... to whatever your cleric level is. So yeah, if you're you a have 20th to... level cleric, you can, one to 20 is a success. Yeah, you have to roll um, at or below your cleric level on a D100. Yep. So it changes with your level. Yes and no, I guess, technically. So, like, so the, the, the DC is, changes. So the way that it's calculated would stay the same with the same formula. Does that ever, does that formula ever change? If so, when? Not that I know of. Uh, isn't it, it isn't it when you succeed, it's harder to succeed again within a certain time frame? You just can't do it seven you have days a, You have a week, yeah. It, it, the DC doesn't change, it just is, you cannot do it for another seven days. Isn't it at level 20, it's like, it's always succeeds or something? Oh, yeah. Doesn't it level 20 cleric can auto succeed once? Never played a cleric to 20, so I don't know. I haven't either. Same. <laughs> and the only Hold reason up. I know what I know is thanks to Critical Role. Thanks, Critical Role. Thanks, Matt. Thanks to Allison specifically, and Ashley and Pike. <laughs> so what is the? Um, so the question one more time, just to get it clear. Yeah. So the cleric class is a feature called divine intervention. How is the success? How do you determine if divine intervention is a success or failure? That's the D one. Does that? Does that change? Like, does that formula change? If so, when? I thought it was if so how. Shh. If so when level twenty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it changes at level twenty. Is it if so when or is it if so how? Uh, I believe it is if so how. Okay. <laughs> if so facto. Yeah, Istanbul we is Constantinople. We know for sure the first part. The second part is we just don't know how how it changes or if it changes for sure. You can auto succeed does make sense. I feel like you can auto succeed. But it succeed. has to be limited. I think it's like once a year or something like that. Cuz like being being a level 20 cleric, you were really close to your god. Yeah, you're basically their champion. And you would be able to commune with them, but obviously they're still a god and have other shit to do than just go go to you all the time. I mean, I'm down for that. I feel yeah. like once per year, though, is not something specific enough for a level 20 ability, though. What's your answer, guys? Shit. I'm going with once a year. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Because we know the that. we know the we know the first part of it's right from both the cleric players. So it's just, yeah, it's just the last part. I'll, I'll go with what we came up with as a team here. Fair. So I'm going to give this to you. There is no time limit for when a level 20 cleric can use divine set or d divine intervention outside of the normal seven days that is given by the ability itself. It just you guys were correct that it auto succeeds at level 20. Okay. So I will give that, that to you guys. That is nuts. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be pedantic about it. It was that was. You answered the question correctly. You just got the time frame a little wrong, and that's more than good enough. I'm not going to make you strain through like resetting <laughs> everything again and trying to do it. That's fine. How's Ziliana looking? Roll a perception check. Fine. Ziliana, you are feeling no adverse effects or anything like that. Like. This is where we learned Ileana is also secretly a demon. <laughs> I'm worried just enough about it that I'm not going to take a chance. And I'm going to use a hundred gold worth of diamond dust, which I have, and I'm going to cast greater restoration. Okay. Yes. I also have a remove curse. Might as well just go big. Okay. In case. Yes something yeah. else you cast greater restoration 
Ileana, you don't feel any different. But Anuk, you know your spell connected with something. And you feel like it was successful. So whatever okay. was going on with Ileana, you feel like if you 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 are sure you have removed it. Which is a bummer for me. Um <laughs> Ilya's about to turn so into a demon, or she's about to turn into our own little version of a goat bomb. <laughs> no, um, but anyway, as you guys open this, as this door opens in front of you, you see it is a staircase leading upwards. As you travel up the stairs, you reach the top and you see a room. A circular room. Oh, man, Six we have doors to in the corner. surround the edges of this room. No symbols. There's they nothing have, else in this room. Do they have hands? No. Six normal doors. Okay. I'm going to tell the group to go stay. This is where stairs. we're going to cut <laughs> for next week because we have been playing for like yeah. three hours. So we're going to cut here. We'll jump back into this point after our little break from recording and stuff for you guys. Unfortunately, you have to wait a week to see the next of the dungeon, but that's how these things go. Everyone at home, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the show. Uh, thank you. I'm sure all of you have noticed at this point, because it's going to be a couple months from now when, from when this happened, but we have all sorts of stuff going on. We have a TikTok channel that went up, talks about the show. It's like a highlight reel for us. Um, we're doing some like of the like interaction D and D TikTok trend stuff. We're doing we're doing all sorts of stuff. We're trying to get the name out there. Um, if you guys see that kind of stuff, you go you know follow the TikTok channel, share the funny ones with your friends. Um, you know we we post all Coda's basically our TikTok <laughs> fame. Uh, so I'm still at all at the phrase TikTok channel. <laughs> is that not what that is? It's just your TikTok. Follow our TikTok. It's uh, at Dice That Bind Us. Huh. Yeah, what they said. Yep. <laughs> I'm too old. Uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> uh, as Bye. we tend to say, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you, everyone who has been watching the show. Ring that bell. Uh, we read every single one of your comments. I sent all of them to our group chat. Thank you so They're much. Wonderful. It warms our heart. It does. Yeah, um, we're we're getting better about interacting with you guys in those comment sections, doing those kinds of things. So if you want to chat with us, leave comments. Tell us how you're feeling. Tell us what you think about the episodes. If you communicate with us, we'll communicate back. I promise you. We're we're waiting for it. We're we're ready for it. You know you guys are watching. Exactly. I am so beyond stoked to start hearing from you guys about just like the things you liked, the moments that I made you really angry because that's most of the comments I see is people telling me to go fuck myself because I. To hurt someone they loved only what a dumbass i am or i made you cry or i caused you some other sort of emotional pain which like that's my job so i don't take it to heart that means i'm doing it correctly but no guys seriously it means a lot that you guys are watching interact with us help us get that algorithm working it means so much to us and we will see you guys next week on the dice that bind us Bye 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 bye